Thanks for what your dog is trying to get us to see if you use the dry clothes. As the blade seen may be etching blade, remove the wax, then you could add the lines again. Dry points and urine. Just look at the same time. Well, you can say each technique has its own quality, identity. That's the way how you use it. Is this clear so far? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to share with you last thing. Um, I'm going to um, cover the plate now with ink. And as you can see, the ink is very thick. It will become more liquid because the plate is warm. I cover it now all over the plate. And now I remove my masterpiece. The ink is based on linseed oil. This is linseed. Linseed oil. And uh, read the lines. <coughs> And um, it's mixed with pigment, it's called bone black, it's made of burnt animal bones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no animal bullying, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, now I use some cloth, cotton some white on the side of the room. But I have to do this very carefully. Well, um, a plate is always made in reverse, a mirror image, also his name is written in reverse. Over here, you can see it very well, the trees are standing on the opposite side. Oh. Well, very slowly, the image is coming out. Oh. It just needs to be careful. Of course, I may not fly well too much. <laughs> I clean the back and the edges. No. And at last I use some chalk, the la crème. I put it on my hand to wipe the ink off by hand what's left on the surface, just to clean it. This is the way to clean it. But I have to tell you, sometimes Rembrandt left on purpose some of the ink on the surface of the plane because he liked a rayish down very much. You can see it very well in the clouds. It makes it very atmospherical, very dramatic too, and also unique, especially in the landscape, to use the law. It's interesting because they're the same but slightly different, so unique in a way. Okay, well. Yeah. I always um, prepare the paper one day before, it makes it softer, pliable, and it absorbs the ink better. I just soak it in water, very simple.
kind of the paper was made the same? Oh, well, Rembrandt used um, a very special paper. He used um, a French paper, Swiss paper, made of red, cotton like this, European paper, um, as well as very fine Japanese Eastern paper, sometimes parchment. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah, this paper is like the same. It's made from uh, cotton. Yeah. Um, the press is a replica, but it's like the same as you use. It's made of three different sorts of wood. It's made out of oak, most of it. The table is made of walnut, and the sterodes are made out of beech. In his lifetime, they were made out of tropical hardwood. Uh, okay, maybe you'd like to help me, Francis. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> 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 Then you push it towards me. Okay. So, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so you can feel it's quite hard work, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Do you send oxygen? If you can close for now, now you can see the imprint in the paper. It's called flayed mark. That means it's a real engraving or etching. It's not just a copy. So if you would like to buy an original etching, always be careful, this is a plate mark in it. Um, in French it's called la couvette. La couvette. Yeah. <laughs> Quite yeah. Okay, let's see. <coughs> oh. <Whoa. laughs> it's called Abram and Isaac. It's a biblical theme. God demanded of Abram to sacrifice his son Isaac. Isaac is wondering what's going on, where is the lamb, not knowing that he was the lamb himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, many times Rembrandt wasn't satisfied and he changed the play by scraping away lines or adding lines. Then he printed it again, that's called the second stage. Sometimes he made about some ten states, ten different things in one place, in between printing and selling them. Well, it doesn't mean that we're not correct, it's just a creative process. Upstairs you'll see the original, then it's always written down what did he use and what stays. Yeah. Well, I talked a lot, but maybe you do have any questions. Are any questions? I did he fail. Uh, also the, the, the things he didn't like. Oh, no, I don't think so. But he, uh, no, I don't think so. He was a perfectionist, yeah. so he, he shouldn't do this. But um, he wouldn't do it. But um, he, in his lifetime, he was more famous for his etching than his painting. So he sold lots of etching. Yeah. Well, that's also the reason why he became that, uh, yeah, he became that famous. In Sicily, they knew his name because it was spread all over Europe. And they were less expensive, more people could afford them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You did help me. If you would like to, you can keep this one. Oh. <laughs> just one moment. I'll just um. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's a stamp. It means it's not an original. Yeah. It's a nice stamp. Yeah. Okay, that's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Au revoir. Bye bye. Au revoir. 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 Au revoir.